안녕하세요 여러분, this is Dmi from Busan, and I'm going to show you how to study Korean like a programmer with EchoKorean.com. This is the program that I wrote myself specifically for this task. So, 시작합시다! So to study Korean, I'm going to go up to the study tools menu here and I'm going to select the TTMIC Iyagi option. So this is going to give me a list of all of the TTMIC Iyagi episodes from all time. And if I just move my mouse over any of these episodes, you can see, for example, here's Iyagi number 24, Sogeting, or Iyagi number 18, or Iyagi number 14 is about summer, Yorum. You can see I've got a description of this episode. And just by clicking here, I can load it up. It's asking me, do I want to save changes to these two documents? And, and no, I don't. We don't need them. So pretty much right away, we get loaded up this episode of Iyagi. And here on the left, what you're actually seeing is coming from koreanwikiproject.com. So this is the English and Korean translation of this Iyagi. Now most Iyagis have not been translated by the wiki project, and in my case, actually, I'm interested in the one on the right. You can hear that behind me, the lesson is already starting up. I'm going to pause it here. So the audio just took a second to load up, and it's actually playing right within the app. But I'm only worried about the text here on the right, so I'm going to go up to Layout and then Show Only Edit Panel Number 2. And now I'm looking at the text only for Edit Panel Number 2. Now I'm going to start my audio again. I'm going to let it start playing. And I'm going to listen to this whole uh, TTMIC recording. And as I do that, there might be some words that are unfamiliar. And what I can do is I can just move my mouse over any unfamiliar word. And you can see here in the bottom of the screen, I get a quick hover description of what that word means. Sometimes the hover description is very useful. Sometimes the hover description might not be as useful. If you move it over a proper noun like Hyunjong, it, it might not know who that is or that that's even a person. But in those cases, what you can do is you can actually just move your mouse over and click on a word and then go up here to the dictionary lookup and look it up in the proper Naver dictionary. So here's a proper definition of everything about this word from the Naver mobile dictionary. So what happened, as you'll notice, is that the audio actually paused while I'm looking up this word in the Naver dictionary. And while I'm working around in here, the audio is not playing. But as soon as I press hide the dictionary, the audio is going to start again. And it's actually starting 10 seconds before the point where I turned on the dictionary. That's because I may have forgotten my place. And so the audio has just jumped back in order to let me catch my breath again. So there's a, a few cool functions here for the audio. We can go up to this new playback menu that happens only when you're playing audio, and we can rewind the audio 10 seconds or 30 seconds, fast forward, and we can play and pause the audio. We can use our keyboard for this, so if I wanted to rewind the audio just by 10 seconds, I could press Control 1 on my keyboard, and you can see the audio has jumped back 10 seconds, or rewind it by 30 seconds is Control 3 on my keyboard, or make it go forward 30 seconds, that would be Control Shift 3 on my keyboard and now it jumps forward. So this is how I study TT Mikiyagi. There's one other really cool function and that is if you actually right click on a verb. So I'm going to find a verb here like bio. I'm going to right click on the verb and I'm going to press look up this verb. So what it's going to do is it's going to parse out that bio is actually the conjugated form of poda and it's going to figure out that poda needs to be looked up and it's going to look it up for us here in dongsa.net. So here are all of the conjugations for this verb. And there's one more thing this is Titi Mikiyagi, so if I actually right click on any of these words, any of these words at all, I can choose get examples of this word, and it's going to give me examples out of the corpus of all episodes that there ever were of Titi Mikiyagi. Here are all the sentences that have the word Ganjanghi in, in those sentences from any episode of Titi Mikiyagi, and I can right click on any of those and copy them to my clipboard or even add that to the bottom of my panel here just so that I can then go in with my mouse and get hover descriptions of those. So this is how I study TT Mikiyagi. I have all of these tools at my disposal inside of echokorean.com.